Italy and Argentina this weekend, folks. It's one of the first games on, and what's another pretty jam-packed weekend full of rugby. This game's on, I think, 2, 2, 3 p.m. local time. It's 2 a.m. over here in New Zealand uh, on Saturday, so it's a Sunday morning for me, technically. Uh, but yeah, two teams that are on pretty long losing runs that will be looking to turn things around. Obviously, both sides lost last week, but certainly had a wee bit to, uh, I guess, be proud of, even if you can, uh, sometimes it's hard to see that when your team is lost. Uh, Italy, I think, played better against the All Blacks than many people thought they would, and Argentina pushed France a lot closer than many people thought they would. So, yeah, both sides will be looking to bounce back, arrest their kind of losing streaks with a win. But um, in recent times, uh, it has been Argentina, that is for sure. But anyway, we'll go through some of the squads uh the recent history the predictions and you guys can let me know your thoughts so yeah you can see from the board uh the last five uh it is argentina five to nil um but these results like you look i think the most recent one is 2017 so it's been quite some time since these teams played each other the average score is 27 19 uh to the argentinians so not huge kind of blowout victories you're looking at things like you know 31 15 30 to 24 uh 20 points to 18 so kind of tight results but um, I guess a lot has changed uh, since that time. Like the Argentinians have had a new coach. Likewise, the Italians and the Argentinians have beaten the All Blacks since then. When did Argentina beat the Springboks? Was it 2016 or 17? Anyway, uh, a lot's happened. Uh, so a lot has changed and um, there won't be a heck of a lot of players that have played these guys uh, before. But um, yeah, we'll go through the squads. The Italians first. They've made a few changes from that team that played the All Blacks. Remember, it's a one-week turnaround for them. Uh, Neymar is up from the bench to start alongside Lucchese and Riccioni. It's actually a pretty strong-looking front row. Uh, I do especially like Riccioni. I've seen a lot of him playing uh, over in England recent times. Canone is also up from the bench alongside Sisi. And the back row is Negri, Lamaro, and uh, Licata. So Licata is at number eight. Um, I think the back row for Italy performed pretty well last week, so that's maybe a bit of an encouraging sign, but the Pumas uh, do have a pretty good back row of their own, it must be said. Vani and Garbisi is that young, exciting 9-10 combo, so they'll be looking to try and kind of unlock the Argentinian defense, which is, again, easier said than done, but you've got two pretty exciting players there to try and do that. Uh, Maurici and Brex are the midfield, so Maurici has come into the squad. Um... Brex did play last week. I can't remember how much ball Brex got, but I don't feel like it was a heck of a lot. Uh, Minotti is still there at fullback. He kept Damian McKenzie pretty quiet, so he'll be happy with that, but also be looking to try and get himself some ball to attack. Uh, Potovani is in on the right wing, and uh, Monti Iwane, who was kind of the star of the show in terms of the Italians' attack, uh, is there on the left wing. That guy has a real talent of just breaking tackles and getting over the advantage line, so that's kind of gold. You can't teach that kind of thing at times. Uh, some guys have just got it or they don't. Uh, the bench, BG, Fischetti, uh, Ciccarelli. Uh, the front row replacements. Uh, Fusa has dropped to the bench. Ruzza is still there. And there's two potential debutants in Bettinelli and Fusco. Um, and then uh, you've got Mori who has dropped to the bench as well. So it's just the two backs on the bench for the Italians. They're obviously planning for a pretty... Tough one up front uh, for the Argentinians. Maybe not quite so many changes, but they have still uh, made some changes. Petty is out of the squad this week. I'm not sure if he's injured or just being rested, but he tends to play when he's fit. So uh, it's sometimes hard for me to get Spanish news. Um, but yeah, I probably should have looked at the YouTube channel for the Pumas, to be fair. I didn't. Uh, but it's Gaggio. Uh, thank you for Nicholas for the pronunciation tips. And uh, with it, Spanish and Italian, I struggle a fair bit. So thank you guys for uh, the help in those departments. But Gaggio, who's been really impressive since he's made his uh, international appearances this year. Montoya and Cordella are the front row. So it's looking uh, like one that could go kind of toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Italians and try to boss them. But as I mentioned, I do like the Italian front row. So that will be an area... Uh, to watch. Crema is at lock because there's no Petty and uh, Lavanini is alongside him so that's a, a big physical second row and then uh, the back row is uh, Matera, Gonzalez and Issa. I mean I keep talking this guy uh, Juan Montin Gonzalez up a lot because he gets through so much work. I know he's got some big names usually when he's playing the likes of Pablo Matera and Facundo Issa and um, other guys as well but 
Uh, he's kind of one of my new favorite guys from the Puma, so good to see him get a start. Uh, he's up from the bench. Uh, the backs, Kubeli and Carreras continue 9-10, so Sanchez still not preferred at 10. Uh, it seems to be Carreras all the way at the moment. I know Sanchez had a little bit of a knock last week, but I would have thought if he's fit, he should be fit by now. Uh, but we'll see. De La Fuente and Moroni is the same midfield. Cordero, that's Santiago, uh, is on the right wing, so he is coming to the squad for Del Gui. And uh, Mateo Carreras is on the left wing. He had a pretty good uh, first game, I think it was, for him uh, last week. Scored a try, looked pretty sharp. And then Boffelli is there at fullback. He will be doing the goal kicking, I would say. And it's an area where if it comes down to goal kicking, it could be a bit of a hairy one. But um, yeah, we'll kind of have to wait and see. Uh, the bench is Bosch, Carles, Medrano, Paulos, Grondona has come in as the kind of loose forward replacement. And then three backs for them, Bertrano, Sanchez, and Sinti. So yeah, it's um, not quite as many changes for the Pumas, but there are uh, a few changes nonetheless. Um, yellow cards, man. I guess it's it kind of goes hand in hand with, with losing so many games. But you look at the recent history of both these teams... They're both quite prone to giving away yellow cards, so it's an area of concern. I mean, uh, the Pumas and French gave away pretty silly ones last week, so that's kind of an area where guys like Crema just need to hold their temper and uh, you know and keep 15 men on the pitch. But if this game is even, that may not be as much of an issue, but it's going to be certainly an important one. And both sides really need to get their running game going. It's, again, easier said than done. And uh, when you look at teams who have been on such big losing runs, it's kind of no surprise that when you look at their attacking stats, like the uh, the meters per carry and whatnot, it's pretty low. But um, yeah, maybe with these two teams in a similar place at the moment, it could be one where we actually see them kind of get forward a bit more. Uh, in terms of the predictions, the rugby forecast algorithm says the Pumas by seven. And the bookies over here in New Zealand have also got the Pumas by the same score line of seven. So it should be a pretty interesting game. Um, I'm not sure. Who am I rooting for in this one? I, I, it's going to be good for both sides to to have a, uh, a good game, hopefully. Because um, as I said, they're kind of both on losing runs. Whoever wins is going to enjoy that. As long as it's not a draw. Please not a draw. Because that would be just brutal at least one side's going to get to cheer but anyway uh you guys let me know your thoughts how do you think this one is going to go do you think the pumas uh, away from home can uh can get it done or do you think the the uh the italians on the back of a pretty solid performance last week albeit getting 40 points put on them uh, against the all blacks will um will have a better time of it against the argentinians you guys let me know your thoughts uh and i'll talk to you guys again soon see you later